What's up and welcome back to the channel. I'm Devin and today I'm gonna to tell you guys how you can start your very own podcast. Now you might think you need a fancy microphone or some interface and a computer and all that stuff. No, I'm gonna tell you guys how to start a podcast just from your smartphone. I'm sure there's probably tons of different methods to start a podcast from your smartphone, but in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys all about an app called Anchor. Now, Anchor is the app that I personally use for my own podcast. It's the one that I have experience with. It's the one that I can actually stand by and vouch for. So that's the one I'm gonna tell you guys about. So Anchor is both a website and an app. And in my opinion, it's just the best overall mobile podcasting platform. It is seriously as easy as just opening the app, pressing record, and then uploading your podcast. So I'm basically just gonna give you guys a walkthrough, show you how the app works, um, give you a couple of different tips, tell you my experiences with it, and also I'm gonna tell you how you can make money off your podcast literally right away. All right, so let's get right into it. So we're gonna start off with the Your Podcast section. So this is kind of where you can see your episodes, you can scroll through and see all the different episodes that you have, you can see how many plays they've gotten, how many total plays you have, your estimated audience, all that different stuff. And the estimated audience is usually like the amount of listens from your most recent episode. It kind of gives like an estimation of, you know, how many people are currently listening. So for me, the episode that I uploaded yesterday, it currently has 28 plays. And as you can see, my estimated audience also says 28. At the top left, you can see I've got 4.9 thousand total plays. We almost hit 5,000, very close to 5,000 total plays, which is awesome but that's neither here nor there if you click into an episode you can go in there you can play it back you can change and edit the description and some other things you can see the status of it see if you have a sponsored segment all that different stuff and i'll get to the sponsored segment things in a few minutes you'll see this little box at the top right here if you click that that's where you can get your link for the podcast itself and what's cool is if you just copy the anchor link and then you post it somewhere and somebody clicks it it's going to pull up all the different places where you can listen to it so like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and stuff like that. So instead of having individually share all those links, you just get the anchor link and it automatically pulls all that stuff up for you. You'll also see those little boxes next to each episode. So if you wanted to just share a specific episode, you could do the same thing. So one of the absolute best things about Anchor, it's kind of the main reason I wanted to go to Anchor, is because what they do is once you upload to Anchor, Anchor handles the distribution for you. So basically, you just have to upload to Anchor, that's it. And then Anchor is automatically gonna send your podcast out to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Breaker. There's like, I think 10 or 12 total platforms. And like I said, you just upload it once to Anchor and Anchor sends it to all those places. And then like I said, you can either go in there and actually get the individual links for specific platforms, or you could just share the Anchor link and it'll pull all those platforms up for you. Not to mention the fact that Anchor itself is a podcasting platform. So if you have the Anchor app, you can also listen to people's podcasts just right through Anchor. Like if somebody uploads their podcast on Anchor, you can just listen to it right on there. So now that I've kind of gone through how the episodes work and how you can see all that stuff, let's talk about money. Money, money, money. Hello, I like money. Who doesn't love money, right? I'm gonna tell you guys right now, okay, how you can make money off of Anchor like literally as soon as you start your podcast. And I'm all about transparency, so I'm gonna pull mine up so you guys can see what I've made and I'll tell you how I got there. So here's my money section. As you can see, my total balance right now is $47.18. Now that's nothing crazy by any means. You know, that's clearly not like something you can make a living off of. However, I remember when I first started seeing money come in, like it was when I made like my first dollar, and I was so ecstatic because all of a sudden, you know, when you can actually see a dollar amount materialize, it makes it realistic. It just tells you like, okay, I've actually made money. Even if it's just a dollar, I've made money off of this. So if I can make a dollar, then maybe I can make a hundred, maybe I can make a thousand, so on and so forth. It just kind of, like I said, it just makes that a reality for you. And that's very exciting. So like I said, this is my money section. So basically the way that it works is you get sponsorships. Now you can do a sponsorship for Anchor right away. And they'll also connect you with other sponsors that they work with. I'll get to that in a minute. So the way that the Anchor one works is essentially, like I said, right when you start out, like you don't need to have a minimum amount of listeners or a minimum amount of plays or anything like that. Like as soon as you start out immediately, you can can record an ad for Anchor. Now I've already recorded mine and maybe I'll play a short clip real quick so you can kind of just hear how I did mine. Before I start the episode, I just wanna let everyone know about the Anchor podcasting app. Anchor is a free app where you can record, edit, and upload a podcast. Anchor offers a variety of creation tools so that you can make your podcast exactly how you like, as easily as possible, right from your computer or phone. 
Anchor also distributes your podcast to other platforms like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and a bunch of others, so that way you don't have to do any of the dirty work. Anchor's got you on that. Yeah, I did mine already, but I'm gonna go in there and click re-record just to show you guys like the process of it. So as you can see, there's a detail section and each different uh, you know, business or company or brand or whatever will have different things written here. But this is, like I said, this is anchors. So their details, it says the ad must be at least 30 seconds long. The goal of this ad is to encourage your audience to make their own podcast using anchor, um, using your own experience and perspective, tell them what you love about it, yada, yada, yada. So that's the details. That's basically what they kind of want out of their ad. They also have a section called script so that there's like a couple of required bullet points. Um, now, obviously you don't have to exactly say it how it's written here, but they expect you to touch on these few important things. And that's kind of what you would probably get with like any sponsorship really. Obviously there's gonna be like a few bullet points that you need to hit on, that's the whole point of it. And then they also have a tip section. So it kind of like tells you different tips on how to do the ad, um, you know, how to make it easier or better. And you can re-record it as many times as you want. Um, I've actually already re-recorded mine a few times. I finally did one that I was happy with, so I settled on it, but you can re-record this at any time. And the great part about it is you can, as you can see, there's a record button down there. You can just record the Anchor ad or any ad right within the app, but you can also import it. If you look at the top right, there's an import button. So if you wanted to import a file from like GarageBand or Audacity or Logic Pro or anywhere else, if you use some other software to record with, then you can you know, import it directly into here and you can record it elsewhere. So if you maybe don't like the quality of your phone, you know, the, the microphone in your phone or something like that, you can import it and go record it anywhere else and just bring it right in. You'll notice at the top right, it says $15 CPM. So CPM is a formula that stands for uh, cost per mile. So basically the dollar amount before that is how much money you get paid for every thousand listens. So like I said, I'm almost at 5,000 total listens and it's $15 for every thousand. That's how I ended up right about at $47, you know, like there's there's different like fees and things like that that come into it, but that's pretty much the gist of it. And every different brand or company will have a different CPM and that's how you can know or, you know, ex expect to get paid a certain amount. Once you have an ad sponsorship recorded, um, all you have to do when you upload a new episode is literally just click add a sponsored segment and then you can select if you want it to be like in the beginning or a mid roll or at the end. Um, certain brands will ask you to put it in a certain spot. So some of them might ask for mid roll. Some of them might ask for like an opening ad. Um, Anchor doesn't do that. So I always just throw it at the beginning because it's just, it's just easier that way. Um, but yeah, like I said, when you upload a new episode, you just click add sponsored segment and then you can put it wherever you want. And then all you got to do is just connect. I think either like a card or your bank account or whatever. Um, and then that's how you can see this big purple button right here. You just click cash out. So whenever you're ready, whenever you want to, you can just cash out just like that. And like I said, the cool part is you can do anchors ad right away. But also as you grow and as you become a bigger podcast, Anchor is gonna connect you with brands. They already have certain brands that they work with that they're looking to connect with other podcasters. So they kind of go ahead and provide those opportunities for you. Like I said, it's just like, this is really why this app is so great. It's very simple. It's incredibly easy to navigate and understand. And they really do help you. Like they make it very easy to distribute your podcast. They make it very easy to connect with brands and get sponsorships. Like. This is, this is definitely a platform that really fosters growth for its users. So lastly, before I actually show you guys how to upload an episode and how to get yourself started, I'm just gonna go to the analytics tab and show you guys about that. So the analytics tab is pretty self-explanatory. It's where you can see your analytics. You can see how many plays you've gotten in a certain amount of time, how many plays you got in a certain day, um, your top episodes and how many listens they got, your audience you know, demographics. So you can see where people are from, um, where people are listening to your podcast. So as you can see clearly on mine, it's almost exclusively on Apple podcast, but you know, whatever, there's still other places that people listen to. Um, and then you can see your audience demographic. So clearly like, m like literally half of my audience is like 23 to 27, which is the demographic I'm in. So that's not very surprising. And then you can also see like, you know, if more men or women are listening to you, it's just really good to know these things because uh, I've always said you should always study your analytics. So if you notice that certain types of topics or certain you know days that you upload or times you upload certain stuff like that is working well you want to stick to the stuff that's working well so like i said i'll go through sometimes like okay these are my top listen to episodes what was like the common theme across these episodes like was it the way that i titled it was it how long the episodes were the topics in them so you always want to study analytics because that's how you're going to ultimately 
you know, help yourself grow and become a bigger podcast. All right, so now that I got all that stuff out the way, let me show you guys how to actually record and upload your very first podcast. So we're gonna start by clicking the tools button down here. Um, when you're in there, when you click tools, once you have episodes already uploaded, like you can see mine, um, by default, it'll just always show you the statistics from your latest episode. So that's why that's there. But if you just click the button again, then it brings you to the tools section. In here, you'll see tabs for voice messages, music, the record button, library, interludes, and sounds. So I'm gonna start right away with just the record button because that's you know, obviously the most important part. So it's literally as simple as you just tap record and that's it, I'm recording right now, as you can see on the screen recording, and that's all you have to do. Like, it's it's that, you just tap a button and you start recording. That is all you have to do to be able to upload a podcast. When you're done, you click stop, you can play it back, add your background music, trim it, you know, there's a bunch of different like editing tools within this that you can do. I'm gonna exit out of that because obviously I don't need that. Um, delete the recording. You can also, oh, you can save it to your library. And if you do that, then you'll have that audio set somewhere. So let's say you have like an intro, right? And you wanna have the intro saved as a separate thing. Record your intro, save it as intro, keep it in the library, boom. You can always just pull it and bring it into any future episode, which is just awesome. One thing I will say, you can most certainly record just from your smartphone. Like I said, when I started the video, I'm not joking, like you can literally do it with just your phone. However, I will make one small recommendation that we probably all already have. If you happen to have a pair of headphones, like maybe a pair of just Apple wired headphones, or some other wired headphones that have one of the built-in microphones, I would definitely recommend using that when you record. Just solely because those microphones are usually at least a little bit better than the built-in microphone in your phone, so I think you can get slightly better audio quality by just using that, and like I said, we probably all already have that, and if not, you know, $10, $15 for headphones, or even if you were to get like a lavalier mic, one of those little clip mics, from like Amazon for 10 or 15 bucks, you can use that. Like you can definitely, like I said, you can do it right from your phone, but one recommendation I would make is either using some wired headphones with a mic or using like a lav mic. I definitely would not use wireless headphones just because there's there's like a lag and a latency when you're using Bluetooth. So it may end up coming out like a little weird or you may get disconnected or if they die or something like that. So like I said, that's the only recommendation I would really make as far as like, you know, getting other stuff for this. But again, you can definitely just record it right out of your phone. All right, so now let's go to the library tab. So if you click the library tab, this is where you can see, I have a lot of stuff in my library because I record all of my episodes in GarageBand and then I just import it. So pretty much everything that I've ever recorded is currently located in here, which is also nice because it's like another section for it to be. So I'll actually give you guys a great example as to why this is helpful. I just recently uh, broke a hard drive that I had almost all of my audio from my podcast backed up to. Uh, so I lost all that, but it's great because since I uploaded it all into here, I can just go and save these files and have all that, which is awesome. Like that for me specifically, like literally this just happened. So that's gonna come in super clutch. So yeah, that's that's a good way to do it too. Like I said, you can record off like GarageBand on your phone or whatever, and then import it that way. But you can also just record right into the app. And once you've got something recorded, if you wanna add it to your next episode, all you gotta do is just click the plus, and then that's it. You click add recording to the episode, and then boom, you're good to go. The interlude section has like a couple of different interlude sounds. Um, these are just provided from Anchor, which is cool because like I said, you can see like there's a ton of different ones, you know, and having like, interludes and sound bites and music stuff like that is just a way to kind of spice up a podcast make it sound more professional make it a little bit more interesting and stuff like that so it's really cool that anchor offers that um again you'll keep seeing at the top right there's that import button like anchor lets you import whatever type of audio you want and you could just put it right into your episode which is awesome sound it's kind of the same thing there's just different sound effects that you can you know go back and add into an episode put them wherever you want um so again like i keep saying Anchor is just really making it easy. They're giving you all the tools you could possibly need to make like banger podcasts right away off of just your phone. Going back over to the music section, you can actually add songs from Spotify, which is like insane. So like, let's search somebody, let's search Tory Lanez. Um, uh, by the way, a shout out to Tory Lanez Barber for fixing that absolute disaster. <laughs> if you didn't see that, Yikes, just look up Tory Lanez here, but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, you can search a person, and as you can see, they've got like major music on here, and you can just go ahead and add it. I'm gonna assume that Anchor has to have like some like deal, licensing deal or something with Spotify where they're allowed to use the music, 
but that's awesome like being able to use music at the beginning or the end of an episode or like during like a little intermission period or something like that that again is just like another awesome feature that like i'm not even sure you can really get with any other podcasting platforms one of my other absolute favorite features of this app is that they have a section where people can actually send you voice messages and you can insert that into your episode. So let's say you take questions each episode, like you do a Q and A or you want opinions on something like that. Um, or you just want, you know, your, your listeners to be able to send you something. They can send you the audio, you can listen to it. And then again, you click the plus button and you can just add it to an episode. So that's amazing. So, you know, that's just another way for you to connect and engage with your audience, which is huge. That's the most important thing of it all, right? Engaging with your audience. That's major because, you know, let's say somebody had written you a question. You know, it's one thing to be like, okay, so, you know, this listener asked me, you know, how do I do this, right? But it's so much cooler and more engaging when you have that person's actual voice and audio playing back and then you play it and then you just go and answer the question. Like I said, it's just, it's more engaging. It encourages your audience to send stuff in because that's cool too. If you listen to a podcast and you send a question in, you know, it's awesome if the, the, the podcaster answers your question. So again, just another amazing feature that I'm not sure you can really get anywhere else. One last amazing feature, and I know I sound like a broken record, um, and this isn't even like a sponsored video. I wish it was Anchor. If you're watching this, sponsor me. Like, I know that I already do the little ad for you at the beginning of the podcast, but like, sponsor me. I'm going hard because I love your app. But in all seriousness, that's why I wanted to make this video. It's not even sponsored. I'm not getting paid for this, but I'm just that like excited about the app. I really think it's that great. So it made it very easy to want to do this video. Anyway, the feature that I'm talking about is being able to podcast with other people remotely right within the app. So you'll see right here, there's an invite friends to join button. So essentially if you click that and then you send people the link or you click people to invite other people who have the anchor app, can jump right in and you essentially have a conversation you do the podcast and i believe it lets you record for up to an hour which is that's awesome that should be like plenty of time for most people um and it records your whole conversation as a podcast audio so basically let's say me and a friend we wanted to podcast and my friends you know across the country or even if it's just somebody who lives locally but hey we're in the middle of a pandemic unfortunately you know it's still going on so we've all had to do things remotely and this is just a great way to be able to do that stuff and keep the ball rolling without having to go through other softwares or you know hook up a bunch of different equipment and stuff you just invite somebody they join in you have a conversation um, and again, I would recommend the headphones for this because you need to be able to hear what that person is saying and also, you know, have your audio. If you're just using your phone for that, it may not be great, but again, you can still do that. And then you just have a conversation and then once it's done, it's saved and you just upload it and, and that's it. It's that easy. So this makes it great for people who want to do joint podcasts or if you want to have a guest, you just tell them download the Anchor app and hop in there with me and we can have a conversation. Um, like I said, man, I, I really just can't go on enough about like, how many awesome features this app has. One last thing before I end the video, I'll just go through the Discover tab real quick. This is just where you can find new podcasts. This is where um, people can find your podcast and stuff like that. Because again, like I said, you can actually listen to podcasts right on this app. They have different sections, like they have an ampl amplifying uh, black voices section, which is awesome because it's Black History Month right now. Um, cool podcast ideas made with Anchor. So again, just like I keep saying, Anchor has really, done a banger job they went all out to make sure that they give you know the, the people on their platform all the tools possible to expand and network and make some money and grow it really is just awesome like i said i think this app like the people behind this app really really care about you know the people who use their platform and helping them grow so that's about it for this episode, guys. I think I've pretty much gone through all there is to go through. Um, if you've ever considered starting a podcast and maybe you're overwhelmed because you think I gotta get all this equipment or you know I need to do this and I need to do that and I don't have any ideas and da 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 da. I'm telling you right now, download that app and just play around with it a little bit. Record some stuff, go through there, see what other people are doing. Um, and then, like I said, hopefully this video will help you get started because it's, it's that simple. You know what I mean? Like everything I just went through was, was pretty much from top to bottom. Everything anchor is, you know, there's not much else to go through. I may have missed a few things, but I'm pretty sure I hit on most of the important stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope this video helps somebody out. If you have any questions, definitely drop a comment below in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help answer questions. Um, and I hope people go out and start a podcast. I mean, I think it's awesome. I think podcasting is an incredibly therapeutic thing, if nothing else, you know, if it's, even if it's not something you ultimately plan on like 
making a career out of or making money off of. It's very therapeutic and it's fun. It's great to just kind of sit in front of the microphone and talk um, and and just, it's really cool to think that people are out there listening to you. And even if it's just a handful of people, you know, it's, it's really nice to be able to do that. That's all for this one. I hope this video helps you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. And that is all for this week and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.